Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be installing my Helium Miner antenna. I recently received a Bobcat 300. I've waited about six months to get that, and I finally got it, and I'm really excited. I installed the Rack ADBI antenna. I live in a pretty remote place, and I thought it was ideal for my situation to install the ADBI. So let's see, hopefully um, this improves my coverage. Right now, I don't have any witnesses, and I would love to see the results after installing this. Guys, if this is helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if there's something that I'm doing wrong or that I can improve on something, please leave it in the comment. I'm here to learn as well, and I'm definitely gonna be sharing my experiences and also give some tips out there from the things that I have experienced. So thank you so much. Here I'm gonna be installing my Rack ADBI antenna. And as you can see, I didn't want to show this process because it's self-explanatory. Um, I got a few clamps and these are five inches and I guess this is six. So by mistake, I, ordered, I got two different sizes. But anyways, um, basically use, use two clamps to clamp it on the antenna mount and then two other clamps over here. What I want to explain is this portion over here. You always want to ground your antenna. And I got some 12 gauge wire. Obviously green or copper is, is cold for grounding. I got some black ones because I obviously, you know, don't want to see any green wire going down my house. And by the way, say hi to the ducks. They are pretty interested in the video. I'm going to remove this little screw. I'm gonna be adding the copper wire in there. Yeah. I'm going to apply some fire to that. Once you're ready to make your connection, you just put the screw back in. And now you have the arrestor grounded. For this part, technically you have to just screw this one side in. The ground wire is gonna go here, and then this wire, this end, is gonna go here. I will be putting the link of these parts, so if you are interested in buying it, it's there. So, pretty simple. I am going to be installing it all the way on the top, hopefully, because <laughs> um, I'm not too good with height, but let's see. And as you can see, this is not OSHA approved, but hey, it works. I screw in these blocks in here, these pieces of um, two by four to give it some support for the ladder to make sure that the ladder does not move back. <laughs> This is not OSHA approved, but hey, it works. Okay. Let me just put that in my pocket. Screws. Okay, so I'm gonna use some zip ties to just hold that in place so I can screw it in. Let's see how that works.
I forgot a major component. I forgot to put the grounding wire. So <laughs> it's gonna be pretty difficult now, um, but I do have to put it. So this clamp is to clamp the ground into the ground rod. Um, so now I have to somehow put this up there. going to be pretty difficult. Do not forget to put the ground wire. That way you don't have to do the work twice. As you can see, I added some washers to the screws. Obviously they are not meant for the screws, but hey, it works. Almost done. This is me installing an additional um, data cable, which I'm gonna be using to put a signal booster. I also wanna point out that you should consider running the smallest distance from the antenna um, into the miner. You wanna minimize the wire size due to the fact that the longer your wire, the more noise or the more Electrical magnetic interference is introduced into the wire and that minimizes your signal level. Um, so you want to make sure that the size of your wire is as small as possible. Later on, I'm gonna be attaching it to the structure to make it a little more neater. But for now, I wanna just attach the ground into the grounding rod just because of the weather, you know. Seems like there's gonna, there's gonna be lightning or rain and I wanna prevent any damages, so. Let me just do that now. Yep, those are gunshots. And you live in the countryside, people love their guns, for sure. So this is the grounding rod. You wanna make sure that you clean the, the rod just to make sure that there's any contact. There you go, that's grounded. As you can see, I routed the cables. This is the one for the helium, and this is a regular Cat6 wire um, that I'm gonna be using for my signal booster. I installed a box in here. I actually need to tie up the box. Where's my drill? Here you go. Just the perfect size. So now it's just placing all the panels back again. gonna be using this as a cover.
Hey guys, so this is the finished product. The wire is pretty short. I'm gonna see if I could find like a little small extension, uh, maybe a foot so I could connect my heat in. I don't want to bend the wire because I know that's gonna damage the wire itself. So for now, that's what I'm gonna do. So let's connect the miner. I have the Wi-Fi connected and the next thing is the power. There you go. So it's gonna stay there until I find a solution for this. I need to get an extension. All right guys, so if you found the video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. I wanna know how you reroute your own Hainan miner. Um, right now it's starting off. As you can see, I installed the antenna and everything should be all good. This should turn green. There you go, we have a green light. We are ready to start earning some HNT. So hopefully this performs better. That was the whole point we went through all this hassle. So I will keep you updated on the performance of this antenna. I live pretty remotely. The nearest miner is a few miles away. So I'm hoping that this will work and we'll start witnessing some other miners. So here we go, guys. See y'all later.